Hi friends, welcome to POFO WordPress theme. In this video we will show how to use Portfolio Shortcode in WP Bakery Page Builder and explain about different helpful settings and different styles of Portfolio Shortcode. Portfolio is main feature of POFO theme, using that you can create your great looking section of awesome work. This can be main attraction point where user will fall in love of your awesome work presented in right way. So first of all you need to create portfolio categories and portfolio posts. Log into WordPress admin backend and navigate to portfolio and click on categories. This are list of categories and it is demo data. You can create your desired categories like branding, website, design etc. You can manage all your categories here and create new category using this section. Click on add new to create portfolio post. Here you can enter your portfolio post title. You can insert post content by using WordPress HTML editor or you can manage content using Visual Composer backend or frontend editor. You can assign categories to post here. You can add your desired portfolio post tags here. You can manage display order of your post here. You can upload featured image using this area. You can manage post level settings for this specific post using POFO portfolio settings. You can set layout settings, header, page title, comments settings etc. POFO portfolio format settings, you can set subtitle which will display on hover of the portfolio image. In case if you don't want to display featured image on portfolio detail page then you can switch off it here. If you have selected link post format then you can enter your external link here and you can set link target like cell for new window. So this way you can create your portfolio posts. Go to all projects under portfolio, you can manage all your existing portfolio posts here. Now let's create a new page or edit your existing page to add a portfolio in portfolio filter shortcode. This is blank page for portfolio. Click on Add Element with plus icon. Click on POFO tab, click on Portfolio Element. You can see Portfolio Settings in pop-up here. POFO provide many creative portfolio styles to list your portfolio posts. Portfolio Over Style 1, 2, 3, Portfolio Image Gallery, Portfolio Full Overlay, Portfolio Inner Overlay, Portfolio Overlay with Icon, Portfolio Transform. Portfolio Zooming, Portfolio Justified Gallery and Portfolio Fancy Overlay with Icon. Let me go with Portfolio Over Style 1. This will looks like this. Here you can manage column type, let me select 3 columns. Spacing between columns, you can select your desired option here. Metro Portfolio, I will come back to later on this point. Here you can select your desired categories from which you want to display posts in this portfolio. So let me select some categories here. So my portfolio grid will show posts from these selected categories. You can set posts order by date, id, author etc. Let me select date. Let me select posts sort by descending order. You can set number of posts to display here. You can switch on off pagination area. If you enable this then pagination will display in page and you can see posts per page as per setting of number of posts per page. Let me select 6 posts per page. Pagination style, there are two styles. Number and infinite scroll. In number style you will have pagination with numbers like 1, 2, 3 etc. and infinite scroll, it will load post data automatically when you scroll down. You can switch on off title. Subtitle and manage text case of title and subtitle here. You can switch on off separator. If you don't want zoom effect on hove then you can switch off it here. You can manage opacity of the hover. Image thumbnail size, here you and select your desired thumbnail version if you don't want to show original image size. You can select your desired animation style from this available list. You can also set animation delay and it is in millisecond. Typography tab, here you can manage typography of title and subtitle. You can manage font size, line height, letter spacing, font weight, set element tag h1, h2, etc. Italic font on off, change font color, 
font underline on off, switch on off auto responsive font size. Under style tab, there will be different style options as per portfolio style selected from general tab. You can manage separator thickness, separator color, box hover background color, alignment options for different devices. Go to extra tab. In case if you want to customize the short code deeply then you can insert unique element ID for portfolio element, you can insert custom CSS class name here and then write custom CSS code using element ID and class name. You can add custom CSS code in appearance customize panel or you can add custom CSS code in child theme style file also. Let me save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio style as per data added. I have used demo data so you can see all images are placeholder images. All posts are loaded now. Go back to general tab, now suppose you want metro portfolio then you will need to enter positions in the grid where you want to cover your that portfolio post items more columns or more rows. And that will be automatic as per post featured image width or height. So let me enter positions for second and seven. Save changes and let's check preview. So you can see first and second and it is covering more rows and more columns. Then after seventh, it is covering more rows. Go back to general tab, let me select portfolio overlay style too. In this style, you can see blur and zoom image in the background here. Save changes and let's check preview. Go back to general tab, let me have some space between columns. Let me select gutter medium. You can see background image is blur. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see spacing between columns here. Now suppose if you want to add portfolio filter then let's add one more short code of portfolio filter here. There are two different portfolio filter styles. This is style 1 and this is style 2. Let me select style 1 here. Here you can select same categories as you have selected for your portfolio. Let me select same categories here as we selected before. There will have one additional filter called all. If you don't want it then you can switch off it and you can set its text here. Default or selected filter category. You can select your desired category which will be the default visible filter on page load. You can set filter category order with name, slug, id or count. You can also set sort order here. In this category, this is category title, this is category slug and this is category id. Under style tab you can manage font size, line height, font weight and different colors. Save changes and let's check preview. Great, click category 1 so it will show the post of category 1. All filter will show all posts and pagination will only work with all filter. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab. Let me select portfolio overlay style 3. It will looks like this. This in dark background so let me go to row settings, and change row background color to black using design options tab or you can change portfolio content element to white. Save changes and let's check preview. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab. Let me select portfolio image gallery style. It will looks like this. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio image gallery style here and you will have zoom option to show lightbox gallery with previous next navigation. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab. Let me select portfolio full overlay style. It will looks like this and on hover it will cover all area of post. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio full overlay style here. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab, let me select portfolio inner overlay style. 
it will looks like this. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio inner overlay style here. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab, let me select portfolio overlay with icon style. It will looks like this. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio overlay with icon style here, you can see title, link and zoom option with lightbox gallery. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab, let me select portfolio transform style. It will looks like this. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio transform style here, it will transform image on hover. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab. Let me select portfolio zooming style. It will looks like this. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio zooming style here. Go back to portfolio shortcode general tab. Let me select portfolio justified style. It will looks like this and it will showcase images with same height. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see portfolio justified style here. Go back to Portfolio Shortcode General tab, let me select Portfolio Fancy Overlay with Icon Style. It will looks like this. Save changes and let's check Preview. You can see Portfolio Fancy Overlay with Icon Style here. I hope this video has been helpful, any more question about same more theme you can contact via our support. Thank you for watching.